here in this video we will see a problem on calculation of bulk modulus and lateral contraction here is the question i'll write the data what is given in this let us get started now for a given material young's modulus is 1 into 10 raised to 5 i'll write the value young's modulus is capital e 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square and modulus of rigidity capital G is 0 0.4 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Find bulk modulus, the first question, and lateral contraction. Lateral contraction means since it is given that lateral contraction of a round bar, so that lateral contraction is nothing but change in diameter of 50 mm diameter so d is 50 mm and 2.5 meter long length of the rod is given so it is 2500 mm when stretched to it means when it is stretched the length increases and that increase in length is 2.5 millimeters take poisson's ratio that is mu is equal to 0 0.25 so this is the question we have now in order to calculate bulk modulus we have to find the solution and how to get bulk modulus here if we look into this we have capital e mu values which are given so we have to find the relation between capital e and k and that relation is there so we'll start with that itself in the solution part since the relation between Young's modulus and bulk modulus is given by the relation is Young's modulus is equal to 3 times of bulk modulus which is k into 1 minus 2 mu now therefore I'll go on putting the values capital E is given 1 into 10 raised to 5 3 into k is the unknown value 1 minus 2 into mu is 0 0.25 so from this k will be equal to 1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 3 into bracket 1 minus 2 into 0 0.25 so from this I'll get the answer of k and my value is 0 0.67 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square so this becomes the first answer which is bulk modulus answer number one now the second question is we have to find the change in diameter and for that I'll explain it with the help of a diagram that since it is given in the problem that the round bar is stretched so here we have a round bar This is the axis of that round bar and when the load is applied the load is a pull type of load and because of this only the bar is getting stressed and when the bar gets stretched its diameter goes on decreasing and length will go on increasing like this. So when the bar is stretched length increases diameter decreases so the increase in length it means there will be linear strain the decrease in diameter that would be called as lateral contraction or lateral strain so here if we look we have to find out the change in diameter so we can say that since Poisson's ratio 
is given by mu is equal to lateral strain upon linear strain so from this if we are able to calculate lateral strain then we can easily calculate the change in diameter so for that mu will be e suffix l upon e which is the linear strain so therefore lateral strain becomes mu multiplied by linear strain and now if we look into this here the value of mu is given mu is 0 0.25 and linear strain is change in length upon original length change in length is 2.5 original length 2500 mm so from this I will get the answer of lateral strain which is it comes out to be the value of lateral strain is 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 and after getting the lateral strain we can say that since lateral strain e suffix l is equal to change in diameter upon original diameter so therefore lateral strain will be equal to change in diameter is delta d original diameter is d therefore lateral strain is 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 change in diameter is delta d and that is the contraction original diameter is given in the problem it is 50 so therefore the change in diameter comes out to be 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 multiplied by 50 and hence my answer is 0 0.0125 mm which is the second answer so it means that when the round bar is stretched the change in diameter is 0 0.0125 mm it means the diameter is reduced by this much value original dimension was 50 mm and there is a reduction in this much value so we can say that the diameter reduces so here in the video we have seen how to calculate the values of bulk modulus and change in diameter with the data given and with this we complete the question.